Hello everyone. My name is Akshay Rathi and working as a assistant professor at RPIT Medical and Technical Campus Vastara Karnal. Today I am going to tell you about diabetes. So the topics that I am going to discuss with you are what is diabetes, different types of diabetes. There are some different terms used in diabetes are hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia with their symptoms and how we can beat the diabetes or we can say that how the treatment of diabetes can be done so let's begin with this slide that includes what is diabetes diabetes is a chronic disease marked by high levels of sugar in the blood and it is lifelong disorder types of diabetes one is type 1 diabetes and second one is type 2 diabetes now let me tell you what is type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a chronic disease that occurs when the pancreas does not produce enough insulin to properly control blood sugar levels. The cause of type 1 diabetes is that the body's own immune system attacks and destroys beta cells in the pancreas that are responsible for creating the hormone insulin. Let us discuss about type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes formerly called non-insulin dependent diabetes is a disorder that is characterized by high blood glucose in the contents of insulin resistance and relative insulin deficiency. What causes type 2 diabetes? Type 2 diabetes occurs when the pancreas does not make enough insulin or the cells of the body becomes resistant to insulin. What is hypoglycemia? Hypoglycemia also called low blood, low blood glucose or low blood sugar occurs when blood glucose drops below normal levels. Now comes the symptoms of hypoglycemia. There are several symptoms of hypoglycemia some of which are shaking, fast heartbeat, sweating, dizziness, Anxious, hunger, impaired vision, weakness, fatigue, headache, irritable. Now I will tell you the causes and onset of hypoglycemia. Causes: too little food, too much insulin or diabetes medicine or extra activity. And onset: sudden may progress to insulin shock. How should you treat low blood sugar? If your sugar is 70 or lower, you should treat it with daily routine diet that is half glass of juice, one fourth glass of soft drink and two or more glucose tablets if necessary. Now what is hyperglycemia? Hyperglycemia or high blood sugar is a condition in which an excessive amount of glucose circulates in the blood plasma. Now comes the symptom of hyperglycemia, extreme thirst, need to urinate, often dry skin, hungry, blurry vision, drowsy, slow healing wounds, causes too much food, too little insulin or diabetes pills, illness or stress, onset, often starts slowly, may lead to a medical emergency if not treated. How should you treat a high blood sugar? If your sugar is above 240, you should do the followings. Drink lots of sugar-free fluids like water or diet drinks. Eat the right food and in the right amounts. Check your blood sugar more often. Check ketones if over 240. Call doctor or nurse if you have a positive ketones. Now, with the help of table, I will explain you that what should be your sugar range. The sugar range depends upon age. Different age groups have different sugar range like in 90 years or older. The glucose level will be 70 to 140 mg per deciliter and the AIC level will be less than 7%. In 13 to 90 years, the glucose level will be lies between 70 to 150 mg per deciliter and AIC level will be less than 7.5%. In 
in 6 to 12 years the glucose level will be lies between 70 to 180 mg per deciliter and the AIC level will be less than 8% under 6 years the glucose level will be 80 to 200 mg per deciliter and AIC level will be less than 7.5% to 8.5% normal level for non diabetic the glucose level will be lies between 70 to 120 mg per deciliter and the AIC level will be 4.3% to 6.2%. Now how the diabetes can be treated or we can say that how we can treat the diabetes. Here the word beat means be physical active, eat a healthy diet, ABCS, know and control about AIC, blood pressure, cholesterol and smoking and take your medication. Thank you for your attention. If you have any queries related to this topic then you can write in the comment box. Thank you again.